Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Siren Frost, and today I we're continuing our new deck profile um, short little marathon here. And then we'll get on to the other ride lines and the updates that I Racy Kai just did. But you know what? It's it's from like the older set, but it's just bear with me on that one. But this is the final uh, part three of the deck profiles that I'm doing for the ride lines from the start decks. And today we'll be doing the brand gate version of Blitz Giga Mobile Estron. Estron? I think it's Estron. Um, so this is a little a fun a fun fan theory. What if this deck was actually the very first deck that Taizo actually built? Because you know he's part of Blitz operate Blitz Blitz Corporation. You know with Wellstra. Maybe this is one of the first units that. Willstrow created and just never really happened or just part of the branch. Um, this might have also been a deck that most of his teammates or um, associates now use in their car fights now. But not quite sure. It just has that, all of the units here have all the blitz in his name. And the right line is the confirmed right line I'm going to be introducing you guys today. So I can't really say much for this for sure. The Grace will always have that um, active one turn with skill only. Carabas wants to search your deck for a copy of the Grayson unit of choice and it gets plus 10,000 power along with that. So it's um, a special persona ride or a special persona, if you want to call it. I don't know if you guys want to call that. Um, but the skills are very different. So I think it's based on the number of attacks you do, kind of like how Maelstrom and Flagberg kind of have multiple attacks during in their battle phase sometimes. I think this has a different ability like that as well. With one exception, it does allow a certain amount of time your rear guards can stand. I think that's what the actual they're trying to go for with this one. Now, once I get all the pieces for um, the new Willstra for the uh, faded one of Guiding Stars, I'll do that deck profile video for you guys too. Um, since the old Willstra is pretty much dead and buried, it got reincarnated into a whole new one. It evolved into that one. But anyways, um, let's start with the ride deck itself. Of course, we're using the five deck uh, ride uh, ride deck idea because of the energy generators that we have to be using. From here on now, any match you go to, you have to have one of these down cards. I know it's a pain in the ass, but everyone's ordering them online, so there's no big deal. Um, so, of course, we're using one of those as well. And if you guys want to know, I'm using my boxes to hold an angle here so I can show try to show you guys... Um, the cards I'm using for this video without sounding it like too cringy and if my lighting up here is a little bad I apologize so I'm trying to make it best to the best of my ability and I don't have a desk in my room at the moment just trying to resource it a lot of shit here all right <clears throat> so of course this this card here is very essential energy generators from here on out including energy cards are used for Big time tournaments, small tournaments, shop tournaments. From here on out, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Now, for the official ride line, we have Blitz Chief Mechanic Warton. So, from the regular Warton to this one now, um, same ability. If you win second, draw a card. Big deal. Um, and this card, this starter here, is pretty much used for the next, for the Will CEO Blitz uh, Faded One by Guiding Star. Of Guiding Stars, Willstra, as well. So, this unit right here is very well versatile. You can use any unit if you really wanted to, but I think the Blitz theme is going very much well in this one. So, that's just my guess on this deck tier 2. So, I guess Taizo did use this in some point of his life, and now his associates or teammates are now using this deck as well. So, everyone's gotta have their favorites, you know. Alright, so for the Grave 1, his name is Blitz uh, Kilo Arm Bistand. Bayestand? Bayestand? I think Bystand? I think it's called Bystand. Um, correct me if I'm wrong about that. I have my, Eng my English is cracking up today. Um, when this unit is wrote upon by Blitz Mega Jet uh, Rebellio, Rebellio, search your deck for up to one armor supply vehicle um, pre. Percusia, Percusa, Precisio, ugh, I, I, it's like Precious, but Preciosa, uh, 
Preciosa. Preciosa. Okay, I have to take Sorry, my pronunciation is going to be bad. Reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Now, every grade 1 and 2 unit from every star deck has this effect. So, let's just go ahead and just say it, you know, to get an idea. During your turn, if you have a grade 3 or vanguard, greater vanguard with Aust Asterm in its card name, this unit gets plus 5k power. So, it becomes your, you know, your grade 1 13k attacker or booster, um, as long as you have Asterm in it as the vanguard. That's all. Now, for grade 2, of course, we are playing the Blitz, Mega Jet, Rebellio. Rebellio, I think, yeah. When this unit is worn upon by a grade 3 card with Alstrom in his card name, search your deck for up to one armor supply vehicle, Preciosa. I think we're just going to go with that one. Preciosa. Um, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. And of course, every grade 2 has this effect too. If you have a grade 3 or Vanguard with Alstrom in his card name, this unit gets 10,000 to the shield. So it becomes your typical. Um, 15k shield at that point so it's a good way to guard extra power to guard against your your opponents in case you don't have an actual trigger to uh save you so i think playing playing a full place to this guy is perfect the other one is you know just a good booster so we are maxing out a lot of the support cards in these decks as we speak now hopefully in set two as it's coming up pretty soon we'll have more support for these decks Hopefully in set 3, set 4, oh my god, set 5 and 6 have been revealed already. And that's going to be a whole different ball game, but we're not going to focus on that. So right now, let's just continue finishing them. The last one we have is Blitz Giga Mobile, um, Mobile Astrum. Um, we already read its first skill. Let's not fuck with that one. The active skill is, however, when this unit attacks a Vanguard Energy Blast 4, choose, choose, choose one of your rear guards and stand it. And until the end of turn, that unit and this unit gets 5,000 power. So, this is a very good way of having multiple attacks as long as you have hit a certain amount of cards or a certain amount of attacks, I think. Don't quote me on that one because this is not obviously Maelstrom or Flatberg at all. Like, none can relate. This is a whole new standing effect to the point it's like a mechanical army. That's all I'm just going to say about it. So, that is the right line right here, the confirmed one. And, of course, I'm using uh, Zoxa's color, the blue ones, because I feel like this color is more, more correspondent to Bradgate than to Maurice. That's just me, though. It is what it is. Now, here comes the main deck. Of course, we're playing 50 cards in here due to the new rulings, which, thank God, because playing 46 is a really, like, pissy kind of mood, and it helps you... Or it does give you a small disadvantage. Okay, so my play my play style, of course, when it comes to triggers, of course, it does have the same four heals, eight crits, three fronts, one over trigger, yada yada yada, body yada 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 crap. Um, so we're gonna be introducing some of the new stuff. And keep in mind, most of this stuff is gonna be reprinted anyways in the festival collection, where the the shit might be on that one. So is it worth buying all the start decks and be a deck about it? Probably not, but I might do it because I want the more, I want more energy generators to have all my decks. If that makes any sense. I know it sounds a little bit selfish, but I also want triggers. I want them now. <laughs> and plus, the best part is, they're like almost there five bucks each or fifteen bucks each at my local shop. So I can't complain one second about that. All right. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm way off track here, guys. So for the heels of choice, we're playing Blitz Doctor Gaston, and it's a cute little squirrel. Um, this little guy right here. I think this artwork is really, really cute. And the fact that, um, now you can have a card that has Blitz in its card name. I love it very much so. So, I can't complain about a little squirrel. Even though it's a green squirrel. But it reminds me of, like, um, one of the spiritual beast tamers. No, not spiritual beast tamer. Um, one of the Gusto, uh, tuner monsters from Yu-Gi-Oh. I think that little guy must have, uh, went into a loophole. Ditch Yu-Gi-Oh world and come into Vanguard world and got an education. Went to school, um, got an education and became like a doctor. So there you go. Nice to know that Yu-Gi-Oh's units are starting to ditch because Yu-Gi-Oh's starting to become a little bad, just a little bit. Anyways, for trickle choice, we're playing the Blitz Pilot uh, Jacked, and I thought this card is more the original art, and I thought it's very adorable. 
Um, you have a pilot who's near its helicopter, look at the mountains and thinking. And who would have thought an elf can drive? I mean, who knew, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, I really am just being enthusiastic because there is probably a lot more to unpack here in these stories than I can ever imagine. And of course, we're playing four copies our Patrol Rubble Decker Cop. Um, just for that extra soul ability and that plus extra 2k power to or any unit you tell it to. <clears throat> I mean, you can always play the Cosmic Dragon if you really want to, if you don't like the effect triggers too much. I personally don't like them too much with the exception of the front trigger. Which, by the way, we cannot have a, a deck, believe it or not, without the 20k shield value. So I'm playing four, not four, three, Carnal Draco Empires because... This card, to me, is still really good because it does grant you the five extra 5k as long as your opponent has a grade 3 or greater vanguard, or if you have a grade 3 or greater vanguard, perfect. So the extra 20k shield is perfect, with the exception of the over trigger, which means we're still playing Star Dragon Deity of In Infinitude, Infinitude uh, Elder Breath. So everyone's least favorite over trigger because um, by activating it, and go into an over over trigger state, you pretty much have your entire front row get double its power, double its critical, and depending on what other unit it has, it gains a million power. So that little beast right here is why everyone hates it so much. Personally, I don't mind it. I will use it. It's just I think it works a lot better just with Seraph Snow, in my opinion. But any brand guy can use it. Who cares? So Especially, I think, in um, Gravidia, because of her skill of every single meteorite. Oh, and of course, we're using the Arstorm sleeves from the start decks, because why the hell not? I think it's a good choice. Alright, so for Grey 1s, I don't think we're running too many Grey 1s in this deck, but I may be wrong. So let's just do a check here. We're doing three more copies of Blitz, uh, Kilo Arm, Bia Stand for, like I said... The f extra 5k shield, making it like a 13k attacker and a 13k booster, is not really a bad idea. Because after all, as far as I know, um, Brand Gate can hit massive amount of damage. So this is not too bad. Uh, next we have three copies of Blitzstaff Muna. Um, for some reason she's very expensive and I don't know why. Um, just a reminder, if your order zone has three or more cards, this unit cannot be to chosen by your opponent's card effects and it gets 5k power. Awesome. So it's one turn only. When any player's unit is placed on rear guard from your order zone, from your order zone during any player's main phase. Okay. Uh, so blast one and draw a card. So I've seen people also use her for um, the Seraph Snow uh, series as well, because we all call units from the prison, and that once per turn, I guess for each of that for each Muna you do draw a card, so that's just personal choice. You can be entitled to your own opinion about that. <clears throat> Next, we have three copies of Blitz Chaser Lefian, Bufin, and when this unit boosts, if it's the third battle of this turn or more, Carol Blast 1 and Energy Blast 2. Draw a card, and this unit gets plus 5k power and in that battle. So, just three right now, because I don't think we need them too much. Um, I think Muna was just the best option. I mean, I was going to play two at, at her at first, but I figured maybe three would be okay. So we got three, three, three right now. Uh, even though people say this might be a good chance to make him into like a fourth one, but we'll see what happens down the line. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, finally, uh, next we have the three copies of Caformal Transformation of haste this is our um discard fodder for every time for you use a right line when this unit when this card is discarded from your hand during your right phase you may call this card to rear guard as rest so that's pretty much all it to know these are the ones that i think will do very well in the deck um but we'll just see what happens the next set or so we'll find something completely different <clears throat> speaking of that um, <clears throat> sorry. I'm using, uh, four complete guards, planet wall dragons, just to make it have a theme to have 
every brand gay deck have this one because it's a new right line, new deck, um, everything else to it, so it's not bad of an issue. And if I'm sorry if I'm talking too much, it's just there's a lot to unpack here. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> now for grade two, of course we're playing three more copies of Rebelli Rebellio. Just because, like I said, the extra 10k value is not so bad. I actually like that. Uh, we have three copies of Zinger Razor. This is the um, Arstrom support card. When this unit stands by the ability of your grade 3 or grade card with Arstrom in its card name, this unit gets 10,000 power in a turn. So it becomes an instant 20k attacker. So that, to me, is a very good choice to have. Now, granted, you can play them at 4 if you want, but there, we just got to take some few cards out. So give or take, maybe? I don't know. Um, for the main, for the last monster, we have co three copies of Compound, Compound Genius Girl, maybe, and when this unit is discarded from your hand during your right phase, Soul Blast two and draw a card. So again, she's your other um, discarded fodder, in case you want to Soul Blast two and draw a card. So you do draw maybe a lot of cards in here in this deck too much to some degree, but most of the time it's just about just killing your opponent faster. And here's the card that started it all. Four copies of Armor Supply Vehicle Pre Preciosa. Pla it's a set order. Play this with one counter blast. Order zone skill. When your rear guard stand by the ability of your grave grave event guard or card with Arstrom in its card name, this and to the end of turns, that stand unit and all of your vanguards gets 5,000 power. So it adds more 5,000 to the ability on top of Arstrom's ability. So this is going to hit like mostly big numbers if you're lucky. Um, like his example, for example, 10k, 5k, 5k. Uh, can you just say after your life pretty much? I don't know. But yeah, this is the deck that the build I'm using and currently. I can't actually wait until I try this next time I go back to the shop. And finally for grade 3s, we're playing 5 grade 3s in this deck. So we're playing 3 more copies of Blitz Gigamobile Arstrom and it's just why not for personification ability and two copies of his partner Swing by a Dragon. Now I've been trying to get two more copies of this guy because why not use a full playset but unfortunately one else has him. Uh, when this unit is placed on rear guard from hand, either grade 3 or grade vanguard with Arstrom as card name, count bus 1 and draw a card. Deal. Front row, one turn only. When your other units stand by the by your card by a card's ability, soul blast one and its unit gets two thousand power in a turn. If you soul blast a grade three or greater card with Arsenal's card name for this cost, stand this unit. And that's pretty much it. You know? It's very quite simple, very heavy on standing abilities. Um <clears throat> but that is it for the deck profile debut of Arsenal. I actually think this is a pretty nice fun deck to play with. It's a starter deck combined with some other cards. I think you can build it however you want. But this is how I'm going to build it. Thank you for watching, you guys. If you guys like the content I do create on this channel, please subscribe, thumbs up, comment down below. You guys know the drill and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in part in the next part to the video. So I'll catch you guys later. And as always, I've been your host, Iron Frost, signing out. <laughs>